Welcome to another Webflow tutorial. As always, my name's Jasper, and what we're gonna be covering today is how to connect OpenAI and ChatGPT to Webflow. Um, so, but before I get started, I just wanted to say that when I first started these videos a couple months ago, I wanted to hit a hundred subscribers by the end of the year. Um, I'm almost there, I'm at 93. So if you do enjoy these videos, don't forget to subscribe so I can hit my 100 before uh, the new year. But let's jump into it. So a lot of people would have heard about ChatGPT over the last sort of few weeks. Um, it's been talked about a lot online and um, how it's really taken things to the next level when it comes to AI, AI chat. So I dived into it today in about, you know, sort of like 20 minutes. I figured out how to connect it all up to your Webflow website. So all you're going to need is obviously Webflow, um, make.com. This is used to connect Webflow and OpenAI and send the data back and forwards and obviously an OpenAI account. Now you can do all this for free. Um, OpenAI have their own free trial account where you get $18 worth of credit. So that's uh, a lot of credit to use for this sort of thing, definitely to be testing it out. Um, then make.com also have a free account that you can use so you better connect this all up and obviously you would need your webflow account which I'm assuming you will have. Now with OpenAI what you're going to need is your API keys so um, once you've set up your account you just got to go to your settings go to API key <coughs> generate a new key we can do that now there you go got one there and then you'll also go to settings where you'll get your client ID and then once you've done that you will need a um, nice let's say test webflow website to put this on and then you're going to need this make.com so for make.com what you got to do is first get your webflow event so we're going to have a watch for events you will connect it to your webflow website so you don't have to open it up to everything you will just select the individual websites that you want to connect it to you can then go show address and it will give you the webhook address so you're going to want to save that for later then after that, you're going to want to create an event. So in this case, we create a new event over to OpenAI. And this is to make a connection and you would pick the model. So this is to create a completion. Now, what we have here is a prompt. So this is what it's going to be feeding into um, OpenAI for the completion. In this case, it's name. So that's the name of this single field right here. I haven't changed the name, so it's just sitting in his name. And then we put no other details in apart from echo yes, and then we're okay. And then what's gonna happen after that, it's gonna feed that information back to Webflow. So then what we've got here is a CMS item. So if we jump into the CMS here, I've got one called questions, and then we've got a field here for AI answer, which is rich text, and AI question. And those are just the two fields that we need. So let's come back. And then I've obviously set that up. It's very simple sort of layout. We've just got our um, sort of collection here uh, with the answer, the question, and then the answer just laid out nice and easy. So that just pop up down here. And then we have a simple Webflow form. And it's just one little field here. And then what we've done is we've put the return into a post method. We've got the action right here. So that was the URL I spoke about over here. So we use this webhook and then we have the name of the field. So like I said before, it was called name. So then it knows, so that's gonna be the question that it feeds into OpenAI. And then when the information comes back from OpenAI, we need to feed it into our collection. So I was able to select the collection here. So it was questions, which is fine. There's no other ones there, so I can't select any. Then we had to choose what the answer was. So you'll find that under choices and then text. So that's the text that is fed back from OpenAI. So that's going to put it into the CMS as the answer. And then we had AI question, which was from Webflow technically. And that was the question that we sent to OpenAI. And then for the slug, I didn't really know what to put. So I just put it as the ID for the situation due to this is just for testing. And then we want it to go straight into live. We don't want it to go into archived and we don't want it to go into draft. And so let's have it tested out. So we're going to go run once. So now it's listening for the webhook. Let's go to push the live version. I'm going to say, what is, uh, let's just say Apple. Eh? So this is one thing I hadn't sorted out yet, but it's only just because I figured it out. Um, it's where it goes after the submission. So right now you can say it says it's accepted. So let's jump back. Now that we're back here, let's remove that. Oops. 
go back to question okay I'm messing things up right now <laughs> let's try this again there we go so what is it was an apple so what is an apple an apple is found around fruit with a reddish yellow green pretty weird answer but um you know it is what it is let's try something else so what uh, is a bus now you can most likely get these answers a lot better it's just because I haven't really done a lot with it um, to teach it or train it or put a lot of rules in there so it's pretty basic at the moment so let's refresh our page let's try again something is going oh sorry so I had run once so I'm gonna need to run that again <laughs> lots of mistakes getting made in this video okay so now it's running and it's checking we're going to try that again let's go what is a bus there we go jump back hit refresh there we go what is a bus what is a bus a bus is a large motor vehicle that is used to transport most multiple passengers now that's a better answer not gonna lie but as you can see it's all working nice and easy this will take you maybe 10-15 minutes at most um, it took me a little bit longer because I've never used OpenAI before um, or Mac.com but it was pretty easy to figure out and um, that's it so first off you got Webflow Let's just, we just want to run over it quickly that feeds from the form into OpenAI and that's done through the Mac.com <coughs> uh, webhook and then OpenAI would then run that prompt get an answer and feed it back into Webflow into the CMS items and then the CMS obviously stores it in here where you have all your questions but they don't seem to pop up I probably need to refresh that but it's okay <coughs> okay let's just refresh the page there we go so then it stores it all in here <coughs> and then we'll show it on the page and it's just that easy so real simple real easy to do obviously you can do a bit more complex stuff um, but yeah hope you enjoyed the quick tutorial I know it was a bit uh, messier than usual but um, if you do enjoy these videos don't forget to subscribe maybe even hit that thumbs up button and yeah look forward to releasing the next video see you soon